welcome to Take 5 as we're continuing our morning devotional. And I want to look again in the first chapter of James. We've been walking through this chapter. James, the brother of Jesus, who calls himself the bondservant of Jesus, answering the question for all of the people of God who've been caught in persecution and crisis. They don't understand what's going on. Why is all this pressure coming against them? when they're doing everything right. So James writes this epistle to them to answer those questions. And he says, count it joy when you fall into trials. Why do I count it joy? Because it's working patience in me. It's working endurance in me. I can see that I'm lacking nothing in the end. I'm gonna be filled up, I'm gonna be mature. And then he says, God's gonna give me wisdom in the midst of it. Well, today I wanna take you to the next verse And this is a really powerful verse. It says, but let him ask in faith with no doubting for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. So he just said, if you lack wisdom, ask God and God is going to give you insight. But he said, you have to ask in faith. It's important in times like this and times of crisis that we remember that our faith is not in our sustenance, our resources, our job, what the government's going to do. Our faith has to be in God. And when we pray and when we're asking for things, we have to ask according to faith, according to the will of God. It is absolutely important. And it says with no doubting. Now, this word doubting actually is the word in Greek language that means I'm unstable in my mind without instability in my thoughts and judgments. Now, there's nothing like a crisis that can make you worry and focus on everything else and feel unstable up here. Am I making the right decisions? Is this going to happen? What's going to happen next? I'm afraid of what's going to happen tomorrow. And God says, when you are talking to him, you can't ask, letting your mind wander through everything else, being distracted by everything around you. But you have to put this in faith, trusting in him, believing that he is taking care of things, that he's working those things in you. And the end result will be joy. And it says, for he who doubts or he who is unstable in how he's praying and asking, he who is distracted, he said, is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Now it's interesting, I brought this water here because waves are constantly moving. Water is an interesting thing because water takes on the form of its context, its shape. So I have this round shaped vase and this more long shaped vase and when I pour the water from one into the other what happens is the shape that was here takes on the shape that's here. The problem in our lives is we're that way too and we end up being shaped by our circumstances instead of being shaped by the word of God and we're like water we're like a wave. God's wanting to bless us he's wanting to strengthen and grow us and show us things but we are so consumed by everything around us that they're shaping us rather than God shaping us. And today I want you to know that God and his word is what's coming to shape you. That's the thing that's going to change you. That's the thing that is going to make you different. That's what's gonna make you powerful. So when you pray today, we're gonna pray in faith, trusting God that he's working on our behalf, that he's building endurance in us, that he's strengthening us, and that in the end, it's gonna be joyful. I'm telling you, this is what God says to us in times of challenge and crisis. When you pray, ask in faith. Let's do that right now. Lord, I thank you for your word, Jesus. I thank you for the power of your word. And we pray, God, according to this. Lord, let this be the context that shapes us. We don't want to be shaped by our circumstances and by all of the issues that are around us, God. We don't want to take on that context. But Lord, we want to... We want to allow the context of your word to be the shaping factor in our lives. So I speak peace today to everyone watching and strength because we know, God, 
that you are working out all things for good and for our joy. Make us into who you're calling us to be in these days. We thank you for it today. In Jesus' name, amen.